your embrace That's the place that I want to go When my world gets cold You make it bright Hide in your face That's the place where heaven shows It takes us both Makes it right Since I've met you I understand My world is well When I hold your hand In the middle of the night Mr. Wayne Warner, you're the man, buddy. That's such a beautiful song, the chorus. And I know your sister helped you put that together. I think you were telling me about it. It's in the book that you guys, you were taking a break, and you came back to the studio, and they had that all ready for you and all prepped to sing it. Well, well, my sister is, I was going to say, my sister is pretty much an extension of me. She's, uh, you know, she pretty much handles just about everything that I do, and I blame her for everything that I don't mm-hmm. do right. Um, you know, she's been there from the get go. She's, uh, she, she, she does things. Uh, she pretty much, uh, represents me in every, every way. Uh, and she's, she shines, she shines where I don't. And, um, you know, she's, uh, yeah, she's at uh, the book. The book describes that, you know, she, 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 uh, she just fills in all the blank spaces and she does it so well. Um, and so, uh, uh, she just she's a she she's my right arm you know i think somebody said to me one time in nashville they said where does she fit into the picture i said she's not in the picture uh she's the canvas that's painted on and um and and i that, that is absolute that's absolutely correct and god bless her health i think was she not not feeling um, good last year was that she is true? doing she is doing much better now much better now uh, God bless, God bless. Um, yeah, yeah. Cause she she had all the all the musicians, everybody ready for you. Because she also knew that the middle of the light was something you wanted to get out. Because in the book, we're just little snippets of it. You were always thinking when you're on stage, you were always looking at that, and that song was kind of thinking about that. The middle of the light. Why am I here? Why is Wayne Warner in the middle of the light in life? Should I say? And, and that's what do, they're do touching. You mean God, do you mean the, God bless the children? Kind of like all of them together, my friend. But the middle. Of the oh, you light. mean all of them? Oh, you mean all the career? Yes. Yeah, the career. Oh, yes. Juanita, Juanita definitely. She, the career. Yes, yes. Um, Juanita loved the spotlight. She, she definitely uh, liked the whole atmosphere of it. Yes, definitely. Yeah. As far as the middle of the light, uh, her and I were both totally. Uh, we have both both forgotten about that song for years. It was totally uh, gone. For us, we were both very um, proud that um, that uh, that Taylor did well, and but the song was totally irrelevant to us for for, for long for a long time. Uh, it recently just surfaced, and uh, I think she'll be as shocked as I am that it's um, that you or anyone else in radio has it. But uh, I hope I hope people like it. 
Yeah, we'll just keep pumping up the good music. Speaking of that, we know and talk about your family. Your father, you come from a roots music family. You were sitting with your dad in the barn, you know, from the then the get go. It was always in your blood, uh, you know. From a barn dance, from the barn dance. Yeah. Uh, yes, my dad was the leader of the my dad was the leader of the band, and and uh, in Vermont where I live, uh, barn dances were quite popular when I grew up. And and when I say barn dances, that's exactly what they were. I mean, there were there was often cows down below and. The band played in the hayloft, and, and we were one of those. And my dad had the uh, Saturday night gig at a certain place called Buzzies. And every Saturday night, we'd load up the Studebaker, and off we'd go. And so I grew up I grew up watching my dad on that stage until I was six years old when I got to stand beside him. And, uh, and I've pretty much been on the stage ever since. And, um, yes, my dad was certainly a huge influence uh, on my music and and I suppose in who I am. And uh, my dad still, my dad still graces the stage, and uh, I still get a chance to go watch him once in a while. And um, so it's uh, definitely a huge part of, of who our family is. Music is, has played a role in, in, uh, in who we are as a family, and, and certainly in what I do. Yeah, because uh, in, like in Chapter 8 of your book, When Nashville Calls, in 78, you just recorded a song at 16 years old. It got on the local radio. And all of a sudden the phone rang, and they asked for your dad. And, you know, in, in the book you describe very cool. It's like, uh, Wayne Warner, did I do something? You know what I mean? Uh, am I okay? You know, is I looking for my dad for me, you know? And you were a little confused. Yeah. And your father looked it up, you know, 615, 615 area code. And they learned that number was a but, Nashville producer who had heard his son's but, record. But, and wanted to produce. That, that's right. He had heard. That's right. It was a big time national producer. He was he was producing several hits on Waylon Jennings and, uh, at the time, and uh, and Waylon Jennings was the flavor of the day at, 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 at that time. And and I guess there was something in this in this boy's voice that he that he, he that intrigued him. I guess. And away we went to make my first record. And I was 16 years old uh, when I made my first record in Nashville. 15 when I made my first record uh, in my home state of Vermont. But yeah, 16 years old when I walked into the first Nashville studio and played with the big boys. And it was, uh, that was the introduction of a whole, of a whole new universe for me. I was going to say a whole new world, but it was a whole new, whole new universe for me. And, uh, and wow. Uh, you know, we started this interview by talking about a journey and uh, wow, it's just been a journey ever since, uh, still going on, you know, right now into the, into the pages of a book, you know, it started, it really started with that phone call, Tom, yeah. um, that's still going, you know, Charlie it's, it's taken some detours. It's, it's taken some pauses and it's taken some detours, but now, it, you know, it's literally taken into this, into this book and, uh, you know, who would ever have thought it, you know? And, um, but that's the way it goes. And, you know, I think everyone's life is a book. I don't think, I don't think mine is any more interesting. I think everyone's is different. Mine is different, and I hope people can can visit it. You know, it's nice to visit different, um, but I think everyone's got a book in them, and and um, and it's really nice that uh, that people want to visit mine because it's it, you know it is it's different. But um, I'm a fan of everyone's. I think everyone's got an amazing story to tell, and I think we could all learn from each other. And how we how we how we survive challenges in life. I know we've all we've all got them, and if we can all learn from each other and how we how we overcome those obstacles, and uh, I just think that would be a great thing. And and I would, in fact, I would I would challenge everyone to think about it. You know, I, I know that when I was first um, introduced to the idea of writing a book, I I did probably what most people who are listening to me right now would say, I was like, no, that's not going to happen. Um, but, uh, but here we are, you know, it did happen and it was, it was, uh, it was challenging and it was, um, it was difficult in, in some ways and it, and it, uh, it was, it made you vulnerable in a lot of ways. But, but again, I think, I think that, um, we could all learn so much from each other and how we, and how we meet these challenges and how we find, how we find the, you know, the good and, and, and all these uh, things that come at us and uh, how we survive. 
and and uh, so uh, and I'm just I'm just convinced that people want to want to turn these pages that I wrote into it. I, I literally every single day I'm hearing from people who are doing just that in the backstage Nashville, and I'm just so humbled and uh, and honored um, by the fact that they just read one word after the other that I that I that I put down. It just blows my mind. Um, but I'm also honored by the fact that I was able to write the words that I wrote, you know, about the people that I've worked with. And, um, you know, everyone from, uh, you know, the, and people that I've met from Ben Campbell to, well, to Ray Pennington and to Billy Ray Cyrus and to Alabama, just to everyone that's in there. Um, mm. So it's, it's it, you know, again, it, and the journey hopefully continues. You know, I don't think I'm going to write another book, but who knows? I never thought I'd be writing this one. But all it all stemmed from it all stemmed. You're right from my dad and from those barn dances and from that phone call. It's just, just a continuation of the ride. Buzzies barn dance at Buzzies. That's right, Buzzies. <laughs> I love it. Um, we're running out of time. You have another interview at the top of the hour, buddy. Tell us everybody where we can find the book, oh, Barnes and Nobles online, everything. Uh, Hot press and what's been going yeah. on to catch. And if they want to autograph, if they want to autograph, and I, I, I love to do it, at, go to WayneWarner dot com, and uh, I autograph them all uh, one day a week, and out they go. And I, I'd love to do that because I love to get to know people, and I love that connection. So WayneWarner dot com. Um, I hope they'll come there. But yes, any other place that books are available. Yeah. Um... Good stuff. Let's talk quickly about, we got a couple more minutes, the song. You're in the studio today. I caught a little clip that you sent out, a little audio. you got new stuff happening, buddy. What's happening on the music? I am in the too? studio, yes. yes. Finishing up a new uh, album called Label X. We're going to be uh, in Nashville in the studio on August 22nd, working on the tracks. And my one of my favorite places to be, if I'm not hanging out with my sons, um, that's my... Uh, uh, my zone and uh can't wait to get back in there i'm always in there with some great great talented people and uh yes yeah, so i'm anxious to get the new album out to you and uh and um yeah i was in the studio today and uh what i'm not not when i'm not in the book world now i'm i'm trying to sneak in the studio every chance i get <laughs> yes and and let's not forget the fantastic cd all in fun now that's available everywhere cd baby amazon all in funds where you're going to find these tracks rock and turbo twain god bless the children god for a minute flight was a prayer wasted all these stuff and i've only touched a little bit last night with kathy stewart i played a lot of your tracks on there but all in fun is wayne warner's super cd too well thanks yes i think that i think that's wherever you said it was <laughs> i believe so <laughs> everybody knows where to find that good stuff all right buddy let me get you to rest up for your next chat because we're going to come back we could talk a lot more just touch little bass it's so easy when i just talking to my brother on the phone about his music and life and and again thank you a couple weeks ago you got touching me and i hey tommy i got a script for you and you got a video and i'll work on that i just a little down i get my little vanity up should i say working out and i'll look better in the video you know what i mean <laughs> what well, I hide behind the so radio much, for. my friend. It's always a pleasure to talk to you and to your great listeners and I thank them and reach out to me on Wayne Warner Music on Facebook and WayneWarner.com and, and I love to hear from you and it's always great to talk to you, my brother. I love it, man. And we're ending this God for a minute. Awful all in fun. And by the way, every I've had friends that have heard this the first time and they want to know who you are, where that song come, it touches everybody right away, if I were God for a minute. Well, all right, and you know what to tell them. You know it, I sent them right your way, my friend. Here it is. Wayne Warner. All right, bud. God bless. Talk oh, to you I'd be there when you heard it. And when lonely, I'm surrounded.